nights. I'm Omar Franco. And I'm Angel bringing you the nightly news. This week off, we turned to Vince Lamberti, who once said, winners never quit and quitters never win. Nights, in just two weeks, we'll be on winter break. That's right, Angel. Christmas break is right around the corner, but let's not celebrate too soon because semester one will be coming to an end, which means that we should be preparing for our finals. Oh yes, and the finals are right around the corner. It looks like I'm going to need some tutoring as soon as possible. And Knights, if you want to attend free school tutoring on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, then make sure to attend tutoring on those days. You will find Zoom links for those tutoring sessions on student Google Calendar. And now to sharpen our vocabulary, we turn to Denise Torres for the SAT Word of the Week. Hey, I'm Denise, bringing you the SAT Word of the Week. And this week's word is abysmal. Abysmal is an adjective which means something extremely bad. Well, there you have it. Back to you, Omar and Angel. Are you ready to get ripped and in shape? Well, let's turn to Sarah Diaz to learn a new exercise this week. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm your fitness instructor. Today, I'm going to show you how to perform the Russian twist. This exercise is perfect for straightening your core and abs. If you are not too sure how to perform them, then check this out. First, sit on the floor and bring your legs out straight. Lean back slightly so that your torso and legs form a V-line shape. And make sure to keep your core tight. Now, without moving your legs, the goal is to twist your torso from side to side. I recommend you perform this exercise slowly and control your breathing throughout the exercise. And complete three sets of ten. And there you have it, the Russian twist. Well, this has been fun. I hope this helps. I don't know about you, but I'm hungry, and I would really like a healthy meal, especially after practicing those Russian twists. I know, let's go to Julian to learn about some healthy options. Hey, I'm Julian, and today I'm going to be your cooking coach. I'm going to show you how to make pancakes, so let's get to it. First, you have to add about one-fourth of the pancake mix to the bowl. After, add enough milk to make sure the pancake mix looks creamy. Grab your hand mixer and circle around it to make sure it mixes well. Then apply butter to the pan and with the ladle add the pancake mix. When the pancake has a lot of holes on top, make sure to flip it over. And now for the taste test. Well, this has been Julian and I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Well, I can't wait to cook that up. And with that being said, have a great week, nights. <laughs>